how can I convince people that Python is the right choice for our needs? So this is a question that I got over email from a debater org newsletter reader. And I want to share some of my thoughts in this video. So um, this is written from the perspective of someone who's trying to convince their company, their team to use Python because they love Python themselves. And now they want to get their team, their whole company uh, on board the Python train. So I think uh, the answer here heavily depends on how much influence do you have in the organization, right? Like, are you someone that carries a lot of weight that people trust and that people lean on for advice? Then you're certainly going to have, you know, an easier time convincing people to go with Python. I mean, if you own the company or if you're the CTO, then you're going to have a, a really, really easy time because you're just going to tell everyone what to do. Um, and that might not be the, the best strategy to get the buy in. But, you know, it's it's going to that's going to influence kind of the strategy that you want to apply there. Um, so for my answer, I'm going to assume that um, you know, you're you're kind of in an established position at a company, a company, you're working with a team, and you really love Python, you want to get them on board the Python train, but you don't really have the power to, you know, pull rank on on everyone else and just kind of steer the ship and be like, yeah, we're doing Python now. Um, I'm also not saying that that's what you should be doing if you can do this, because people are gonna are not gonna like that. And you know, it's not not gonna be a great result. So how do you build that buy in? Uh, from from people, how do you get people to consider Python for their programming work? And I think in order to do that successfully, essentially, you have to become an advocate for Python within your company, you know, you have to go out of your way to show people what, what nice, like how nice the language is and how much you enjoy working with it and how, maybe how much they would enjoy working with the language. And um, it, personally, I found a great way to do that is to uh, to see if you can give presentations in front of the the whole engineering team or parts of the engineering team or just for your own team, you know, if you can go out and show people as part of a workshop or just, you know, as part of a 10 or 20 minute presentation, um, what you've built with Python and how Python is a really nice and enjoyable language, then um, I think that's that's going to help you build up that momentum. And you know, I wouldn't try and sell the language too hard. Uh, because if well, if you're not in a management position, or if you're not within the company leadership, people might not appreciate if you're, you know, trying to get everyone to write Python, and the company maybe has decided to do to do Java primarily, right? If they're a Java shop, it'd be very hard to kind of move them away from from that mindset. And uh, for, for good reason, right? It's often very hard to kind of um, change the, the whole company mindset and switch languages there for for everyone. So you have to build that change slowly and kind of feel what uh, what the response is, you know, how do people react to this? And if things go well, and you keep doing this over time, then maybe you can get more and more people convinced to try out Python and do a little bit of programming in Python on their own. And I think this is how you build up this momentum over time. And this is how you kind of roll the snowball up the hill. And then eventually, if you get enough people on board there, maybe you can consider you know, Python for a small project, like maybe building some tool in Python, and then showing that it was a good experience that people enjoyed it, that it was a more productive experience, and that it could save the company money by making everyone more productive. And I think if you can demonstrate that outcome, um, you know, this is really a, a show don't tell moment, if you can demonstrate that outcome, then it will be easier to help the company make the shift to a more modern programming language like Python. So these are some of the strategies you can apply there. If this answer was helpful, and you'd like to get your own question answered, then uh, just leave a comment below here on YouTube, and I'll try and tackle your question in a new video. Um, by the way, I'm trying to figure out my lighting setup here, I'm almost getting blinded because now I have this little lamp above the camera that's like right into my face. Um, I'm trying to get away from sort of the the zombie look or kind of the two face look with a lot of shadow on my face in these videos. So if you've got any tips for me, then I'd be happy to hear your thoughts on how to improve that as well. All right, take care and happy pythoning.